Subcutaneous or sub-Q injections are shots that go into the fatty layer just under your skin. It may seem scary to give yourself a shot, but we'll walk you through it step by step. The best areas for self-administering sub-Q shots are the upper thighs and the belly, but avoid the area right around your belly button. If someone else is giving you the shot, you can also use the outside of the upper arm and upper buttocks. It is important to rotate injection sites for each injection. First, gather all your supplies. Your medication, the syringe and needle, alcohol pads, band-aids, and a sharps container. Wash your hands with soap and water, and then using an alcohol swab, clean off the area of skin where you are going to inject the medication. It will dry while you draw up your dose. Remove the protective cover from your medication vial. It will either be a little metal circle in the center of the top or a plastic flip lid. This will expose the rubber stopper on the vial. Clean the rubber stopper with an alcohol pad. Pull back on the plunger of the syringe to fill the syringe with an equal amount of air as the amount of drug you will be using. Remove the cap from the needle by pulling straight off and away from your body. Push the needle through the rubber stopper and press the plunger to push the air into the vial. Then turn the vial and syringe upside down and pull back on the plunger to allow the liquid in the vial to flow into the syringe. Exchanging air for liquid helps to keep the pressure in the vial equal. If there are any large air bubbles, flick the syringe to move them to the top and then push those back into the vial. You may need to push and pull the plunger a bit to work the air bubbles out, but don't worry about any little ones. Now carefully remove the needle from the vial so as not to bend it. Hold the syringe like a pencil or dart over the area where you want to inject. With your other hand, pinch about two inches of skin or fatty tissue and push the needle quickly through the skin all the way. You may be inclined to slowly slide that needle in, but that actually tends to cause more bruising and pain. Once the needle is in, press the plunger all the way to inject the medication. If it stings or burns, press the plunger a little more slowly. When all the medication is gone from the syringe, pull it straight out and dispose immediately into a sharps container or other hard plastic container, such as a laundry detergent bottle. If needed, apply a Band-Aid. That's it, you're done.